Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program. I'm your host, Jason Bryant, and today we're going to do an episode that I know people have been dying for us to do. And um, given all the kind of comments, um, at kind of various kind of events, and kind of just in the store and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of people buy cask wine, and this is one I found in the supermarket. A Bicwer Chardonnay 2008 comes in a Tetra pack. Um, which I know they say is environmentally friendly and everything like that for shipping wine around the world, but it looks bloody disgusting. Um, the wine is actually from South Africa, the Western Cape, and it's a Chardonnay 2008. And I thought I didn't like the sound of screw caps. I mean, that is just plain wrong to me, but hey, who knows what the wine is going to be like inside. Even the pouring is quite funny. Um, not too keen on the label design, which is a big kind of thing of mine. Um, anyway, let's give it a give it a whirl. And <laughs> Ironically, the nose isn't that bad. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It smells quite sweet, but you do get that kind of citrus, limey, lemony kind of character. I do, however, get a bit of a kind of residual plasticky kind of smell. Um, which is slightly, now that I've actually swirled it around a bit, it's slightly disturbing. Yeah. It's actually better than some of the Chardonnays I've tasted. Um, from quite a few places. Still quite sweet. Finish is quite sweet. But there's quite a bit of acid there, which is quite which is quite good. Probably added acid, but that plastic smell on the nose is really kind of disturbing. But it's dry, it's got a it's got a bit of fleshiness to it. Um not overly fond of it, but Okay for coffee at kind of three in the morning. Not that I advocate that. Um, what does it say? It says, um, no, it just gives you kind of a little kind of story down the side. <clears throat> um, I'm going to score it 79, or oh, 80 points, 80 points. So that was the Abiquit 2008. The next one I thought I'd better do is the Wolf Blast Adelaide Hills 2004 Chardonnay. Now Wolf Blast are enormous. I've had this bottle for a while just to see how it develops. And um, kind of this, because this kind of retails about 10 bucks. And that's for a litre. It looks like it should be a bottle of milk. Um, and then this is like 20 bucks. So I just wanted to see whether an Australian Chardonnay is kind of twice the value, or, or two times better than this. Straight off the nose, it's, it's a lot, lot better. Is there a bit of kind of alcohol kind of coming off? I don't know what percentage it is. 13.5%, smells actually kind of But you do get those kind of characters. So it's 2004, so it's got a bit of kind of bottle age on it. You get a kind of mealiness to it. Um, quite rich and kind of uh, ripe fruit. Then you get that kind of lemon zest. And then you get a bit, I just had a bit of kind of burnt match with that. That sulfur kind of smell. Now it's nice and dry, there's a bit of kind of stigliness to it, but you get then you get that kind of lemon, kind of citrus kind of character come through, but it's pretty damn well integrated. Um, I'm not sure you'd probably find um, any more 2004 Wolf Blast Gold Label um, Adelaide Hill Chardonnay, but if you've got any kicking about in your cellar, I suggest you kind of open it up now. It's probably not going to last too much longer. 
but um, it's a pretty fair drop. Now that kind of sulfur kind of character is blown off, and that was one of the problems with in the early adoption of screw caps. They never got the kind of sulfur levels right in the wine and stuff like that, and um, so you often got that kind of burnt match. And if you swirled it around enough, you'd kind of like end up getting rid of it. It's not my favourite, but certainly drunk worse. Um, I'm going to score that kind of 82 points. I know that this has kind of got 80 points, but um, the only off-putting off thing about this was a bit too sweet and the plastic kind of smell on the nose, but the actual palate wasn't too, too bad. This, the nose was a bit stinky, but finished okay. Um, anyway, we kind of, some other news. We have got a, there's going to be a kind of Twitter kind of Christmas do um, somewhere in Auckland uh, on the 4th of December so early December uh, I've also already got a whole lot of people kind of like there for that um, and um, we're just going to continue doing quite a few kind of wine tastings here at the store throughout that time and then we're going to do a big kind of champagne and we're going to do a champagne one on Wine Vault TV as well so hopefully you can kind of like taste along with us anyway until next time on Wine Vault TV I'll catch you later